99 won the whale. It's Jim Free and you in the free zone, joined on the phone by the legendary Eddie Money. Eddie, how you doing? Hey, uh, Jim, what's going on, man? Congratulations, 99 won. You guys got a great station. I want to say hi to Carolyn and to uh, Rain and to Pizza Face. Now, the guy is uh, he doesn't have the world's greatest complexion, but he's really a hell of a guitar player. Plays a lot like Jimmy Hendrix. They're all coming to the show, which is amazing. And my uncle Mac and my Aunt Chicky, who in their 80s, are coming to the show. We've got a lot of friends up there in Binghamton. It's like uh, Benny Mardona's country. You know that. Absolutely. He's from Syracuse. Uh, now, uh, yeah. Eddie, you've played you've played this event uh, a couple of times. Uh, not uh, not sure how much you get to actually enjoy the event. I mean, I, I know you go from, like, the bus to the stage, but uh, have you gotten to, to actually walk around the event and check it out, like maybe have some speedies and go up in a hot air well, balloon? Well, i tell you the truth. You know, it's going to be a lot of fun, and I've heard a lot about the fair to tell you the truth. And, you, you know, you get me near anywhere near cotton candy or <laughs> funnel cake or anything else like that, it's like, you know, I love a good fair, and that's yeah. one of the best fairs in the country, to tell you the truth. It's got really great reviews. And it's really going to be a lot of fun. Absolutely. And I got a lot. Of, I called the promoter up. He must be this older guy. He got on the phone. He said, "Are you? Are you Eddie Money?" I said, "Yes, Sam." He said, "Well, this is Mr. Chastina. You got a bigger guest list than the Rolling Stones." I said, "I'm sorry. <laughs> I got a lot of friends up there. What am I going to do?" Absolutely, you got to take care of the friends when you can, right? He said to me, "You got a bigger guest list than the Rolling Stones." <laughs> like that was very funny. The guy had to be in his like seventies. I don't know what's going on. I think but I know exactly who you're talking fun. about. It's a, it's it's going to be a great show, and I heard the guy. I don't know who the opening act is, but I heard they're really good. Uh, it's going to be Blue Oyster Cult. Yeah, well, you got to love Blue Oyster Cult, man. They're yeah. fantastic. Yeah. I mean, Reaper Man, you know, those are good buddies of mine. I forgot that they were on the show. Yep. Yeah, they're playing uh, like an hour and a half before you go on, so uh, they'll have the stage yeah, nice and warmed I mean, up for they're you. A good band. They're, they're, you know, they're like me. They're a new, they're a they're a New York State band, mm-hmm. and uh, you know, Reaper Man is great. You know the little guys. They look like the you know like the Munchkins. Uh, I mean, they're all like they all were dressed in black, and I don't think either one of them is all like oh five two, five two or five three. <laughs> but they're really great. I think that they should be in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, along with Stick Scenario Speedwagon and Peter Frampton, and uh, you know, there's so many bands that I think that you know not not just me, but I don't know what's going on there in Cleveland, but you know, a lot of a lot of my friends are missing out. I think yeah. they're getting the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. You know? I, I totally agree. You mentioned sticks. Uh, maybe Dennis... if they get in, they'll vote. Maybe if they get in, they'll vote for me, huh? <laughs> there you go. I can pull some strings for you. Uh, you mentioned yeah. sticks. Uh, Dennis DeYoung is going to be playing uh, tonight at Speedy Fest. So uh, yeah, it's I a... love Dennis DeYoung. Yeah. I mean, to me, he was the real. I, I like Tommy Shaw. Yeah. Don't get me wrong, but the real voice of sticks was Dennis. Mm-hmm. And really, he, you know, too much time on my hands and all those great songs that he sang. Yeah. But you know, some bands just break up. You know, I mean, I was in a group called the Rockets. And we broke up, and I said, I got tired of these bands breaking up. So I said, I'm going to call the name Eddie Money. And my last name is Mahoney, M A H O N E Y. And I took the A and the H out of Mahoney, turned myself into Eddie Money. But, you know, it seemed to work, and everybody likes it, so it's cool, you know? Yeah, it's a little easier to remember. You know, like you think money, you think Eddie Money. You know? Yes, yeah, so who's going to remember Eddie Mahoney? Exactly. Mahoney. Unless your last name is Mahoney, you won't really remember. Yeah. Uh, no, uh, Eddie, like you're touring now. I, I saw your uh, your August schedule looks pretty busy. What do you What do you do when you're when you're not on the road? When I'm not on the road, uh, you know, I'm doing a lot of work. I'm working on a new record. It's going to be called It's a Brand New Day. And I got the guitar player from the uh, Stephen Nicks band, and he plays with Joe Walsh and also with Keith Richards. His name is Waddy Wattel. He's helping me out with the record. I got a great song called I Love New York. I'll send it over to you if you want. If you, if you after the phone call, send me your email. I'll send you the song. You're going to love it. It's called I Love New York. Right. And I got to, you know, I'm working on a new record. Uh, my son's career, Dez Money, D E Z M O N E Y. We got to check him out. He's got a great CD yeah, it's got coming out. I'm just out there helping the kids, you know, staying sober and, uh, you know, trying to make some money for the vets and the pets. You know, we do this thing uh, called the Pets for Vets. And you see these dogs on TV that are freezing with the chains around the neck in uh, somebody's backyard that they abandoned. Well, they're teaching these dogs how to take care of these wounded veterans. And I'm supporting Pets for Vets. So if you guys come out and pick up a T-shirt, you'll be helping my, you'll be helping my, you know, my, my dogs out and the veterans out, which is great. I do everything I can for the vets. You know that. Yeah, that's awesome. And I saw that on your website. And, uh, and congratulations and thank you for doing that. It's uh, Eddie Money who's going to be playing at Speedy Fest uh, tomorrow night. Now, uh, Eddie, you just released your uh, your greatest hits. Uh, it was called the Complete Hits and Anthology uh, last right. year. 
Uh, what was that like working on? I mean, did you step back and go, wow, this is pretty amazing? Because it's an incredible... Well, you know, though, somebody else put the whole thing together, but I do like to support like, some live tracks on the record mm-hmm. that sound great. And they're giving you... It's a complete anthology. I think there's something like, I don't know, there's over like 16 to 17 songs on it, I think, you know? Yeah. And I've talked to a lot of people, and believe it or not, the record is actually selling pretty good. Very cool. I mean, for an old man, people are still buying any money records. I'm very happy about that. <laughs> there you go. You know, I, I wish my wife... I wish my wife was a fan. You know? <laughs> <laughs> now I haven't spoken to you in a couple of years, and I remember seeing the uh, this this commercial that came on TV, and I'm like, oh my god, if I ever talk to anybody again, I got to ask them about that that Geico commercial a few years ago where you had your you your... know that Geico commercial. I got to tell you that Geico commercial. <laughs> they, it was up a commercial of the year. People really enjoyed it. It was very very funny. It was a lot of fun doing the commercial. But all of a sudden, I became so famous again. I get off a plane. I'd have to shave and wash my hair. Everybody wanted a picture of me. The <laughs> flight attendants to the uh, to the pilot. But, you know, I love my fans out there. But the guy cut commercial was great. But it really, you know, people, hey, there's any money. And people haven't seen me in a long time. And uh, it kind of did a lot for my career. I mean, you know, now everybody recognizes me again. And they were going to do another Geico commercial. I said, Eddie, you want to? I said, guys, one was enough, please. I'm, I'm very happy. You know? <laughs> did people actually think oh. that you had a travel story, a travel agency or no? You know, I tell you the truth, people have talked to me about that. And actually, the people that were in that commercial were very famous Broadway actors. They were actually famous Broadway actors, and they were on Broadway. I mean, I went to a Broadway show, and one of the guys that was in the commercial was like, oh, that guy looks me. I said, God, that's the guy that did my commercial. <laughs> I'll tell you, when they first saw it, I was, I was like, that. crying, laughing. It was, old, it was this old lady that wanted to push the button on the tape deck that was going to play Tea Tickets Paradise. And she was a very accomplished uh, actress. She was in uh, Annie Get Your Gun, an old happy fella. Okay. And my wife wanted to be in the commercial. My wife got her hair done and her nails done and everything else like that. So I feel so bad. I had to turn around and fire this little famous old lady to put my wife in the commercial. And then they didn't even use my wife in, in the commercial. They, they cut that out of the commercial <laughs> and used the acoustic version. Oh, and uh, and they, then they asked my wife on the, on the radio, How'd you like your husband's commercial? She was so mad that she wasn't that she says he sounded pitchy to me. <laughs> <laughs> Can you believe that? That's funny. Because she got her nails done and got her hair done and she thought she was in the commercial. Yeah. And she wound up on the editing room floor and that didn't make her very happy. You know? <laughs> yeah, but that wasn't your fault, man. You tried. You should you should still I get an A for effort. Gloria and I we're gonna be on T V next Thursday. They go, Yeah, what are you gonna be on? I gotta see we're gonna be on divorce court. Which is just, you know, it's one of my jokes, you know. <laughs> there you go. Any it's money like playing? I, I, went to, I went to the doctor two weeks ago. I said, Doc, I'm afraid to eat at home. I said, what are you talking about? I think my wife's trying to poison me. He says, you're married 30 years. I said, she, she's kind of, I don't even need to know. She's kind of poison me. He says, you know what? I'm going to call your wife up tomorrow. Call me back at 430. So the next thing rolled around, I called the doctor back. I said, did you get a chance to talk to my wife? He said, talk to your wife. I was on the phone that one for two and a half hours. Take the poison. <laughs> oh god that's funny <laughs> it's just a suicide right there <laughs> Thank the voice, you know. <laughs> exactly anybody playing speedy fest uh tomorrow night you can get uh tickets right at the gate of course you need a special ticket to get into the concert area but it's fenced off with the snow fence so you can stand up I, I, I got a buddy of mine that, uh, he went to a psychiatrist and he said uh the doctor said you look seem very depressed he said depressed i can't tell you I feel like a real dog. And the doctor said, you feel like a what? He says, get back. I dated you. I feel like a real dog. He says to me, he said, how long have you felt like a real dog? He said, dated you, doc. He says, I've been a puppy. <laughs> and the doctor says, why don't you lay down and we'll talk about it. He says, I can't do that, doc. The doctor says, why not? He says, I'm not allowed on the couch. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you know me. I love to. I love to sing, but I love to tell jokes too. It's all yeah. about me. You got to make sure people have a good time. You know, I still got all my hair. My weight is down. I'm singing all the hits. But doing, I go out there. They can't. I go. And I'm going to do endless nights. I want to do a song for all my ladies in the '80s. And they give them endless nights. They can't want to go back. We can take me home tonight. Think I'm love shaking. It's it's really a wonderful show. Very it's cool. great. And I got a lot of friends like that might coming down from Syracuse and I got a lot of friends in Binghamton. It's gonna I got friends that might come down from Niagara Falls and Buffalo. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Really, it really is. I'm looking forward to it. It's tomorrow night at Speedy Fest and uh, you're gonna play my favorite, right? Give me some water. Shot a man on the Mexican border. There you go. You know, I I wrote Give Me Some Water. I actually wrote it for another friend of mine. I wasn't going to do the song, 
But, you know, you, you do a show for these friends of yours, they got their wives don't get along, and the band broke up in three weeks. So I turned around and did Give Me Some Water myself. Well, there you go. And it One turned out to be a huge hit. About Give Me Some Water is just, my parents were very good friends with the Johnny Cash people because she's there from Nashville, Tennessee. Johnny Cash was doing Give Me Some Water in a set before he passed away. Oh, wow. I didn't know you that. You can't get a better compliment than that. Absolutely. To have Johnny Cash sing one of your songs. Absolutely. I mean, wow, that's really fantastic. Very cool. Eddie, thanks for your time, and we'll look forward to Jimmy, seeing you again. You're the best, night. man. I can't tell you how much fun it is to talking to you. Looking and forward to seeing you like again. I'm glad you like my jokes. My wife doesn't think I'm funny. <laughs> and I said to my wife, you don't think anything's funny. What are you talking about? She says, my, my mother never lives to your jokes. I said, your mother, my mother will lose a real fear. I can't wait till hunting season opens. <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy, have fun, man. Thanks so much for a great interview. I appreciate it. All right, Eddie. Thanks, man.